Hey everyone, Logic here. Today we're going to be doing my update tutorial on how to mod man. This gives you access to mods for things like Lethal Company, Content Warning, and Muck. If we play Muck again. So just go to Google, type how to mod man in. Click this first link here. And you just want to do manual download here. As you can see here, it also supports the game like Valheim or anything else you might see. There's a big list of games you can scroll through on it. Um, the advantage of R2 Mod Man over Thunderstore, which is advertised at the top here, is that you don't get ads in Mod Man. So when you're looking at downloads folder, we've got this. I've got WinRAR, so I have this option here. But if you don't, you should have another extract option. Just choose or wherever. And you'll get this here. This is the only thing you need to click. Only for me. Um, destination, well, depends where you want to put it. I'm going to put it in my SSD. There we go. And then we're going to press install. Wait for it to install. Shouldn't take that long. And finish. It's going to open that up. Right. So here you can choose whatever game you like. So let's say if I'm doing Lethal Company, search that up. You can select as default if you want. That's the only game you're going to use it for. So once you've chosen the game, it should just come up with no profiles but obviously I've done this before. So if we go create new we can call this Logicat mod pack, name whatever you like. Select profile now on here you've got your install folder so you got your online. We can get any mod you like from this. You've also got like things for config so this only happens once you've got mods as it says up there. Settings anything you like. And then at the top you've got the start on vanilla if you don't play with mods and start modded. Every time you want to play the game modded, you need to open R2 mod man and click start modded. If you launch it through Steam, it won't use any of the mods. I know what I want already. If, if you don't know what you want, you can click through, you can find mod packs, or you can use the Thunderstore on here. So if I was on Risk Array and I could click any of this, launch out of the Hedgehog, install with mod manager, and it would appear in here. If that doesn't work, then you can just Google in here. Obviously, it's going to be for lethal company but same same premise so if I want to install my mod pack it's going to type logicap go for this one download the latest version don't need to do any of the earlier ones it might linger on this screen for a bit but I really presume that's just downloading everything else so you are 64 things um, and then you just got to click like update all because this is more to do with how you make a mod pack but the, you'd have to update every single mod in your list every time and of course it's going to get stuck on Lethal Casino what a great mod unless you a gambling addict then maybe not okay so that's everything updated and then once you're ready just click start modded and with this you'll get two windows you get this Bethanex which is kind of like the hook they use in Unity games it will take a bit longer on the first time loading up and then you get the second screen here which is your actual game and please restart the game so of course you might have to that thing on ask you to do. If you don't like a mod, you click on it and you can do disable here. Um, if you click disable, that's, that's not what I want to do because it'll disable a logic app mod pack as well, which means I don't think you'll get any updates. The same case for any other mod pack you may have. So just disable that one only. So that's how you install R2 Mod Man and make a profile and install any mods you like. You know, I can go on and just click anything if I want this one, click download it all, add it to this folder. So yeah, thank you.